my sixth book. It's called The Essential Cookbook, and I guess it's a it's a culmination of, of knowledge, not only that I've gained over the past few years, but over you know 25 years of cooking uh, for my family, for my kids, for my my husband, for my friends. So I like recipes to be straightforward, using ingredients that you can find and things that aren't too fiddly or fussy. Now, every now and again, I love to do a bit of rainy day cooking where you get in the kitchen and you fiddle around all day. But generally, I am a I cook weekday dinners, you know, and weekend feasts. So the recipes are not hard. They're achievable even for a beginner, and particularly in this book, because each chapter tells you, in the poultry chapter, it tells you all the different ways to cook an egg. In the meat chapter, it tells you all the different cuts of meat and the best way to handle them. And then, my favorite recipes with those things. Um, so I do believe that food is coming back to the forefront, and I think that those skills are becoming desirable again. My mum was an entertainer and still is actually. She loves nothing more than to have a bunch of people over and to put on a spread. And of course I grew up in the 70s and the 80s so the spread always had you know a fruit um, upside down flan. It would have a um, strawberry shortcake, a sherry log, you know we'd have the glazed ham and the oh you know the porcupine with a <laughs> So she loved to entertain, she loved to cook for people and really just have people around and party. So so I really took that from her. There's nothing makes me happier than a group of people at my house and putting on a feast. One of my most memorable meals was a picnic that I made for my then boyfriend, my now husband. Um, I was madly in love with him and I think it was an anniversary and I made a picnic it was simple things, but I'd gone and spent money on some really good cheese and some really nice bread. And this is back when we were very young, probably 19. Didn't have a lot of money, but I went and bought just a little bit of the best that I could afford. And we went to um, a beautiful waterfall and took, I, I bought him some Corona beers and some lime to put in it. And I'll just, I'll never forget it because just that act of bringing a simple meal together and going and enjoying it as a young couple, it was beautiful. It was the best tasting thing I think I've ever had.